morning, everyone. Welcome back. We're already at day nine. We're, we're almost at double digits, people. <laughs> I hope you've been doing well. It's been so nice, a really fun journey. We're moving on to another gift guide today, so be sure to stick around. We'll be doing tools. So some of my favorite tools that I've been using over the last few years uh, will be highlighted in this upcoming video, some fun little gift sets. Uh, for this morning, I wanted to give you an update on the wearable blanket. I do still love the wearable blanket. It's really nice and cozy. I will say if you have to put more than one thing in the dishwasher, like you finish your coffee, you go to put it in the dishwasher, like that's okay. But if like you have a plate or something, it's just when you reach, you know, so anyway, you don't really want to wear this all day, all day. Like I was hoping I could just kind of live in this, but there are limits. So I do have to take it off periodically, which has been sad. <laughs> but otherwise, it's been absolutely delightful. It's so nice on a chilly morning. I'll just leave it, uh, hopefully if I remember in the evening, I leave it close to the bed. So when I get out of bed, I just go from like one blanket to another. It just sort of helps the transition <laughs> into the rest of the day. I don't know, it's, it's just a little chilly. Like sometimes you know it's snowing and in the back of your mind, it just makes you feel cold. Well, at least that's how it is up here. Some people live in these lovely warm areas or you're in the Southern hemisphere and you're like, girl, I'm getting ready to put on sunscreen and hit the beach this December. If you are, nice. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the calendars. Uh, we did have the coffee this morning, so we're a little, a little more energetic. <laughs> let's get into day number nine for Dr. Barbara Sturm. We have another kind of medium-sized one, so we're hoping for some more serum. I'm always hoping for serum from Dr. Barbara Sturm. Yes. More serum. Ooh, we have the brightening serum made in Germany. Oh, that's the thing is none of these boxes tell you like what about it makes it brightening, but it is a little thicker. So it's not like a clear serum. This should be nice. It's, it's kind of fun to play catch up over the winter, right? Like you have a little extra sun. Maybe you get some little spots. This, this kind of thing over the winter helps refresh you. So I love looking for products like this. They also often make your skin more sun sensitive. So that's why I generally like them over the winter as opposed to brightening during the summer. Ooh, so for Netta Porter, day number nine is kind of a good size, kind of a good size drawer, so I'm excited. Oh yeah, this one's kind of heavy. Oh, a hand serum, ooh, hand serum. I'm so used to seeing hand creams. So we have Margaret Dabbs of London, fabulous hands. I have not heard of this. Intensive anti-aging hand serum. This is nice. Serums, I've used a couple hand, no, maybe just two others. They absorb really quickly. So if you're one of those people where hand creams just leave you feeling kind of heavy, this might be nice. Although it's in a jar, so it's also weird. Let's see if it's sealed or not. No, okay. So it just looks like a really light, really light hand cream. There's a light fragrance. It just, I don't know, it almost smells like ginseng, gin, ginseng or something, like a little somewhat herbal, fresh. It smells really nice, but you can barely tell. Yeah, that worked the way you would expect a serum to. It absorbed really quickly. So, oh, cool. So that's fun. Another nice winter addition. I, I'm sure they're thinking about that as they put these kits together. <laughs> but that was a fun start. So tune in in a minute. Well, it's not even going to be a minute. I keep forgetting. I'm going to like snap my fingers and we're going to be in the studio. <laughs> See you guys in a second. Welcome back. We're all ready for the day. We're freshened up. We're in the studio. I just did a sneak peek. <laughs> Well, you know, um, we're discussing some of my beauty recommendations for like tools for gift ideas. These are some things that I have and I've been using for a while and I've really liked them. A few of them are a little old, like this cleansing device from Foreo. Okay, and the name of mine's weird. They've renamed it to like the Play 2. This one has the fancy like sensors on the back. Basically after Clarisonic left this, this world, shuffled off its mortal corporate coil. <laughs> There are several other companies who are like, this is amazing. They already had some cleansing devices, but they're having a little trouble like gaining ground. This was one of them. And I got this years ago to replace my Clarisonic. 
the little sensors on the back and then you can like push a little button and it detects the moisture levels in your skin. And if your skin's a little dry, it will recommend like a shorter cleaning cycle. So this is like a sonic vibrating cleanser and it's got little like silicone nubblies all over here and you use it gently on your face to get in there. The vibrations help the soap really get all of the makeup and everything out of your pores. I don't really use like the moisture sensing a whole lot, I will admit. So if you're looking at getting one of these, they always have really cute gift sets this time of year. I don't know that you need to get the play, the one that like synchronizes to your phone and does all the extra things. I, I do have dry skin if it detects like your skin's not so dry. All it does is it increases the amount of time the program is running for cleansing your face, which kind of makes my skin more dry. So I just use it for the short period of time I use it for. But yeah, these are really cool. I do have a second option, which I know you're gonna be like, girl, why do you have two Sonic cleansing devices for your face? <laughs> I had picked up the Foreo on purpose and then FabFitFun thought it would be fun to send the PMD Sonic cleansing device. So this is, as you can tell, a completely different form factor. You, you get to hold it far away from where the actual device is, which is nice because with the other one, if I have longer nails, I kind of feel like my fingers are getting a little bit in the way. The other one's really nice in the shower because I don't have a lot of real estate to put things. So this is nice for like, if you just wash your face by your counter. This is also a little less expensive, works really well. The other side of it, um, there's the like silicone nubbly side, and then it's got a smooth side. This is for like helping serums to penetrate more deeply. So you use this against your skin. Uh, you like, you put your serum on and then you glide this over to help like the sonic vibrations help the skincare penetrate more deeply. So that is an added benefit. Whereas the Foreo device, all you have are little silicone nubblies to cleanse your face. So basically, if you were to put these two in like a celebrity deathmatch style battle uh, to pick like which one's the best, it just depends on how you like to hold things against your face, right? Like they're both really good. You can't go wrong. If you wanted to get someone a gift set that has like additional items, the Foreo has more devices. So you can kind of come up with a cool package. Also, it's smaller. So if the person travels a lot or just you know has a tiny space that they live in, this thing's pretty great. This one's nice too. It does use batteries, so this you have to recharge, but the other one, if it's out of juice, you just pop in a new battery. It's a single AA battery. You can use rechargeable ones. So I don't know, it just depends on how you think the person lives their life. Do they have a lot of space? Would they get angry if it like runs out of juice and they need to use it? Then this could be the way to go. But if they travel a lot and you know enjoy tiny little things in their tiny little space, then the Foreo is delightful. Speaking of Foreo, if you did want to get like a larger gift set for someone, the UFO device, there is a set with the Luna cleaning device and then this UFO face mask device. Now what's really cool about these is there's a tiny, well, I guess it's relatively tiny. There's like a little sheet mask you put on here. So you pop off the little plastic ring, you put the sheet mask on here, and then you put the plastic ring back on here to secure it. And then when you turn it on, not only does it have like the sonic vibrations, but it also warms up. So you get like the heating, uh, the heat combined with the vibration helps the face mask penetrate a little more deeply. Also, it's really quick. So it only takes like a minute, just like swipe it over your face really fast. And if you're the type of person who doesn't like sitting with the sheet mask for 20 minutes, then you're gonna love something like this. They also have versions with like lights, like the LED lights, I don't think you have the light against your skin for long enough for it to help. So I don't know, they cost more. I'm not sure you're getting more, but the original UFO device, love it. Next up, after we've cleansed our face, we may or may not have just used a little mini sheet mask UFO device. We can do some pore extraction. <laughs> this one's a little goofy. This one, I like it, but it feels a little weird to give someone like, hey, your pores are full of garbage. Here you go, this will help get it out. Um, but <laughs> the Dermaflash has, you can see up here like the metal. Basically what you do is you turn this on, it has theme of the day, I guess, sonic vibrations, but you just like press it against usually your nose or areas where you have a lot of pore congestion. 
and you just like press it gently, smooth it across your skin slowly, and you can see like the stuff just wiggling out of your pores. There are some people who would love this. I just, it's utility, I use it, it's a little weird. Also, <laughs> you can use it to infuse the serum into your skin. Again, same kind of deal as the PMD device. You can use the smoother side and then just glide it over your face with the sonic vibrations turned on and the skincare will penetrate a little more deeply into your skin after you've cleansed it thoroughly with one of your electronic devices. So yeah, we've moved into the future, like everything is sonic. <laughs> and the Dermaflash and all of these devices come with like cute little gift sets this time of year. And if you're looking to give someone a fun beauty tool who like, maybe they really like watching Dr. Pimple Popper. I think they would enjoy this. I've never watched that show. I have a coworker who loves that show. So yeah, there's, there's a type, but <laughs> Either way, this is a nice device, and if someone you think is either asking for it or knows about it, this would be cool. Otherwise, this could be kind of like giving someone a toaster, where they're just like, what is this? It could be weird. But if you know they want it, I mean, it, it is kind of fun. So one other item that's a little hard to show on camera like this is a mirror. I actually received this myself for Christmas. I requested it on like an Amazon wish list, I think. It's the Simple Human uh, LED Light Up Mirror. So you charge the mirror itself, so it doesn't have to be plugged in while you're using it, which I really like about it. So you charge up the battery, it lasts for a few months really. It has a motion sensor on it, so when you get up close to it, it lights up and it's a magnifying mirror. So I, I do have two mirrors that I'm recommending. This one, it's because it's a magnifying mirror. So you can really get in there to see like if you have straight eyebrows, or if you're trying to do like precise lipstick application or anything where you're like, I need to kind of zoom in to see what I'm doing. It's wonderful for that. I use it almost every day. It's something that you can move around. I can use it either where I'm putting on my makeup or I can take it to the bathroom. It's great. It's been wonderful. It's a little expensive, but I've, I've used it so much that I, I love it. Next up, since we're doing gift guides, this is a little fancy, it's in a little velvet pouch, which I guess doesn't mean much, but what's contained in here is one of the Rifa devices. <laughs> so these are really cool. I only have one. There's a bunch of them. And now that I think about it, I kind of forget which ones, which one mine is. But it's the one that's shaped like a gua sha tool and it's got these two round, like, and they rotate. So as you go through, they spin around and you can use them to help like tone and do lymphatic drainage. So this is really nice. It feels cool. It's not, I don't think, yeah, these aren't metallic, they're actually plastic, but it still feels cool on the skin, at least right now. So you can use that for drainage. You can use it like along the jawline to help with that. I don't know, it's just kind of fun. It's a little indulgent. So it's a nice gift to give someone because there are cheaper devices, but this really, it feels very smooth. It works really well. It's an excellent brand, so if you give this to someone, they'll be like, oh, well, thank you so much, you really care. Also, I noticed in the bottom of the pouch, it comes with a cool little microfiber cloth to clean it. So, it's fancy. And now we have the Ricky mirror. I love this one. This one's like the bigger version. I know I discussed like a smaller travel size, which I think would be really nice too, especially since, you know, travel's kind of picking up a bit, which is exciting. I do have the larger one. I have traveled with this before if you're going somewhere for a longer period of time. It's nice because hotel rooms, it's kind of questionable whether you're going to have space or if you're going to have nice lighting. This thing gets insanely bright. I use it on the lowest setting and it seems like really bright to me. So I don't know if you're ever somewhere and you need like all of the light, you can just crank this thing up. It's not just great for travel. I do use this again almost every day, just like the other mirror. It's been a wonderful addition to my makeup routine and I highly recommend it as a gift. Again, it's something a little more expensive that a person might not buy themselves, so give them the treat. Next up, we have the classic, the new face. This little device is pretty cool. It sends a electric microcurrent into your muscles and it helps to tone so you can like make your cheekbone, well, okay, not the bone because you're going after your muscle, but the muscles on top of your bone, you like, you get them a little more firm, a little fitter, and they'll like pop out a little more. So you look, you know, a little more like Megan Fox or um, Shishi Hadid or something. I've fallen out of my habit of using this. I do like it. It is a lot of fun. So I want to 
get back into it. I fell out of so many habits all of the last couple years, so we're getting back into it. I wanna start using this again. Anyone who's looking to like, okay, I'm getting out and about, I'm doing more things, they could have some fun with this. It's good for toning, you can go like along the jawline, you can use it, I think, you, I'm trying to remember the whole routine, but there's like part of it you go over the forehead to help like ease the, the little 11s that we all start getting. But there's always some really nice little kits for this for the holidays. I really liked it. I can't wait to start using it again. And I do recommend this as a gift. It's also, you know, one of those nicer items someone might not buy for themselves. And hopefully it's not like insulting. You should know that if the person wants it. Don't like randomly give it to someone and have them be like, oh, you're saying I'm old? <laughs> no, no one is saying that. So <laughs> make sure the person to be receptive and don't randomly give it to them, but otherwise. Lovely gift, a lot of fun, something they probably wouldn't treat themselves to. For this next item, it's a little big. You might not be able to give this to someone if you're traveling to see them. You're like bringing some giant box in your suitcase might be weird. Um, but this is the Trophy Skin. You can see it's <laughs> This is an LED, like a red LED light. So it's pretty cool. You set it up, it's pretty flexible. So you can aim it at your face. And like, <laughs> it comes with some little eye goggles. So you put on the eye goggles, you just lay back, you've got this on your nightstand aimed at your face. I know a lot of people like those LED masks that it's like shaped like your face, like you put it right up against your face. Um, I don't know, it feels not as versatile. I did get this years ago, so I've had it for a long time and I've really liked it. It's kind of nice. You're just sort of lying there, having a little moment, relaxing with the, the light on your face. But what's nice is you can aim it down at like your decollete area. I had like an incident where I had kind of like some scar and discoloration from that. I was able to aim this at a part of my leg to try to help with that. And it's just, it's more versatile than the ones that are shaped either like goggles or the ones that are your whole face. I don't know, I just, I like the classic. It takes up a lot more space, I'll give it that. Yeah, it's been nice, it's definitely a treat. It's fun, it's, you know, the red light LED, you need to leave it on for a while. So if you're sitting there with the giant face mask thing, you're doing it for like 20 minutes. And with this, you just, you hit a button, there's a timer, it turns off. You've had a little like me time. It's fun, I prefer this. So I do recommend it. Again, they always have like deals and Christmas sets. It would be a lovely gift. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had some fun and got some good gift ideas. I really like all of these. I can't wait to start incorporating a few of them, like the new face into my routine a little more regularly. Maybe, oh, we should do like a January, like new me, new year, new me challenge. <laughs> I hate the new year, new me idea, but um, if I'm gonna be like zapping my face and getting myself just as cut as like Gigi Hadid, that's kind of a new me. So <laughs> let me know if you'd be interested. We can come up with something fun. Put it in the comments. Yeah, that could be good. We'll keep each other accountable, have a little fun and inspire each other. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.